Welcome back to CNET's live coverage of CES 2016. I hope you're ready to rock and roll because joining me here on the stage is Marco Parisi and Roland Lamb to talk about the new Seaboard Rise. This isn't a keyboard, this is a Seaboard. That's right. Okay, so it's a different way of thinking about uh, the, the, the traditional keyboard. Yeah, it's a reimagination of the possibilities of the keyboard because 400 years ago, we took, went from the harpsichord to the piano keyboard, mm -hmm. and they brought this new dimension from soft to loud. But now, um, in 2015, we introduced the Seaboard Rise, which has four new dimensions of touch. So it's not just about how you strike the key, but how you glide left to right, how you slide up and down, how you press in and lift off. All of these things can control the character of the sound meaning you can make the seaboard sound like other musical instruments, and you can also make it um, sound, create completely new kinds of sound. Well, let's, he let's get a little sample. First, could you turn it around and show what this is? Because it's, it, it's not a key you can press down like, like the keyboard I learned on, that this is almost foamy and spongy. Um, it's like a soft surface, and instead of having separate black and white keys, we have this continuous surface of what we call key waves. It's like a wave-like surface. So if you play like on the... Yeah, it's bumpy. If you play on the tops of these waves, it's kind of like you're just playing a keyboard. All right, show us a little bit of this. Getting funky. Okay. Totally. But yeah. then you can get even funkier, basically, by adding um, this dimension of glide. So he's going to play it like a keyboard, but he's going to be able to bend all the notes. Okay. That's kind of like what you can do with a guitar string, but you're doing it on, a, on an electric keyboard. That's right. But so if you then take the sound of a guitar and then add those kind of bends, it becomes like a really authentic and organic sound. So let's hear it like with a guitar sound. You can close your eyes and you would think that's a guitar. It's a lot different than my keyboard at home where I just press a button and it's like, it sounds like strings, you know? Totally, totally. No, it's, it's a next level. And like musicians and composers and artists are really psyched about that expression. And that's just showing one of the other dimensions, which is like bending left and right. Okay. And if you add the c capability of pressing into the keys, you can make it kind of breathe like a wind instrument. So you could simulate, for example, the sound of a saxophone. All right, can we see that? Are you guys liking that? I'm, I'm enjoying the groove. Yeah, so you get, you know, this other kind of vibe. And it's great for musicians because you learn this one instrument and you can access this whole palette of sonic possibilities. Okay, it makes you think differently about, yeah. about how you're performing. Okay. But it's not just for like simulating or emulating other instruments. It's also for creating new kinds of sounds or bringing that depth of expression to electronic sounds. So like with this, we also have the capability of sliding up and down the keys and you could use that with an electronic instrument, for example, to create like a filter sweep or, you know, a movement within the electronic sound. Maybe we'll show a synth or something, Marco. like dimension of touch we call lift. It's how you lift off the keys. And it's very cool for percussive sounds because it's not just how you strike it, but how you play it and lift it can also change the character of the sound. I got a couple of questions. I yeah. mean, I mean, this is a small uh, unit here. I mean, obviously you have one that, that's the 88 keys or... Yeah. Okay. We do. We have, we, so we started out with a Seaboard Grand line that had all the sounds built in, and there's an 88 key version and a 61 key version and a 37 key version. But um, this instrument is just a controller. So all the sounds, you know, you can uh, generate the sounds through a phone or through a computer. And um, we've released this now um, for uh, 799 so it's actually accessible more to people. Our first so instruments... It's about $800. Yeah, so, okay. our first ones were between $2,000 and $9,000. So they were really high-end for artists. But this is for everybody now. And, um, uh, you know, it's... But because it's a computer peripheral, um, it's easier for people to use with their existing devices, and it's sort of a cheaper model for people to work with. Well, can you show us a little more ways to groove out on this? Yeah. How long 
it take to learn? I mean, I mean, I took like years of piano lessons, but don't you have to relearn like how you're moving now up and down? Well, you do have to learn new things. The foundation of it, though, is the same skill uh, as piano playing. So it's a little bit like if you knew how to skateboard and you wanted to learn how to surf. It's the same muscles. It's the same like principles because you're still striking keys and you know where the keys are, but then you're just doing a little bit more with them. Can I try it a little bit? Absolutely. Here, you let's slide pull it, it over. over. Yeah. If, if you got this. So I can tap. Yeah, you can tap. Give it a little rub. I'm like I'm feeling very sensual with this thing. <laughs> Yeah, and then you can slide up, slide. Yeah, particularly at the top and the bottom. Oh, okay. So above yep. and below the keys, you also can do things. Yep. It's so soft. What <laughs> did you have like a bass uh, sound or you know? So um, you can get these different kinds of slides. You can also really. Yep. Yeah. Oh, guitar. So you can also uh, like just these little vibratos can make a big difference. So if I play it on a piano and I play, that's quite a simple sounding melody. But if I just add that little bit of like vibrato, you get the sense of like a, yeah. a, a bending note, um, which adds a lot, or with a bass. Are there bands that are using this now? There are, yeah. There's um, a lot of artists now uh, have picked it up. Um, A.R. Rahman, for example, went on world tour, um, and uh, he started his concerts with a flute solo on the seaboard, uh -huh. um, and he's been using it in orchestral music as well. So he and uses this for flute? He uses this for flute, okay. yeah. Um, although now, actually, there's some people, he, he's written a, like a medley for seven seaboards, and there's other people who are uh, basically using it for multiple instruments all in, in one context. But it's not just that, like, um, you know, there's uh, people from Swedish House Mafia, and there's people like Jamie XX, and all kinds of, like, DJs and composers and performers, jazz musicians, like a real range of people, because it's a lot like the keyboard, and anyone who knows and loves the keyboard can find new possibilities now playing on the seaboard. And one of the things, actually, that we found um, has uh, made it even more accessible to people is our, um, our iPhone app, because um, what we did was we took, this is You're all about. plug it so you can plug it into the iPhone Yeah, why app? don't we plug it in so you can hear this. Uh, basically, what we did was um, we um, took the new 3D touch capability mm -hmm. of the iPhone 6S's. Um, and right, because you can kind of push harder on the screen, and so that's it's right. kind of like I'm pushing harder on this keyboard. And this app, which is called Noise, is the first app that really used that. You made a musical app called Noise. We made a musical <laughs> app called Noise. And uh, so you can ba basically press in, and the harder you press, the louder it becomes. Why so don't you turn to the camera yeah, right here, here and Marco, show. why don't you play a little bit on this to show um, how expressive an app can be now. So it's the same exact thing as the, as the keyboard in front of us. It is. It's like a smaller version that lets you try out those features and get to know it. Sounds like you're it. talking to whales, though, right now. <laughs> yeah. It a little, a little bit. bit. It does a little a bit. Whale songs. Um, maybe show uh, like a bass line as well. Um, so it's, it's a whole new way to approach kind of expressive touch in music. And we're building out the hardware to do that and the software to do that. And we're really excited this year uh, to have won the um, best innovation for computer peripherals by bringing together the software innovation and the hardware innovation. Can people try this out in stores? Like, is it out now? Yeah, it's out in, you know, it's in guitar centers. It's at Sweetwater. It's in a bunch of, like, leading um, music stores around the country and around the world. And it's also available on Rolly.com. Our website. And this starts at $800? Yeah, this is $800 and it includes all the software bundled in. Okay. Yeah. Well, can you uh, uh, play some play a song for us to kind of rock us out? Yeah. I don't know. Can, I don't know. Can you do Star Wars? I don't know. I was just thinking because I was like we're all nerds here. Can, but. You, can you play a little bit can you play a little bit of the Star Wars theme? <laughs> I don't want to pressure any of that. Oh, from the app? I was going to say from from the keyboard. I think you can too. do it from either. Oh, you gotta change the settings. Here we go. It's kind of All a right, whale song, a whale song rendition. Oh, I'm <laughs> Oh, geek level high! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having us. A really a pleasure. To All be right. Here. So why don't you play us out something while, while we close out? Yeah. So Great. we really yeah. appreciate you being here. Yeah. There's lots more cool stuff and people and gadgets and guests coming your way on the CNET stage. Up next, the CEO of Fitbit's going to be here to show us their latest device. But first, a little music. Thank you.